And welcome back, guys. I'm your host, Keyblade Kyrie 2010. We are continuing on with the Walking Dead series season one. Viewer discretion is advised. This gameplay is very different mature. If you're under the age of 17, you probably should not be watching this. There's quite a bit of gore, quite a bit of violence, very heavy language as well. If you are triggered by any of these things, please go and check out my rated E for everyone games or my rated T for teen games. Those ones are a little bit tamed compared to my rated M for mature games. If you are interested in anything else, please feel free to check out my page. I do have a lot of stuff on my page from drag king shows to other gameplays, reaction videos, karaoke videos, um, cosplay videos as well. If you are not interested in gameplay, I'm sure you'll find something on my page that you might like. Without further ado, let's dive back into this wonderful game, The Walking Dead Season 1. You have been warned. Alright, let's do this. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. Yeah, because I don't trust Ben not to be an idiot. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. I just want to be thorough. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, you know? Creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Man, that's old. That's an old TV. I got rid of mine, like, back in high school, I got rid of mine. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Oh... Yeah, I won't memorize that. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No <laughs> homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Anything back here I can poke at? Hopscotch. It'd be funny to watch Lee or um, Clementine actually try to play with the hop hopscotch. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Sorry, Ben. You no, haven't wait. done. There is something much. you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I what? could use your opinion. What is it? 
It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Hey, I told you to tell him. By all means, tell him. Just not right now. Wait till we at least get back and working on the boat, okay? Shoot, man. Hmm. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yeah. Don't know about that. The alleyway to the auto shop's Nothing down here. There. You coming or not? I'm looking at shit. Shut up, lady. This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Shell casing's all over. Whatever happened here, it wasn't good. This place definitely has some major damage. Can't open it without the combination. Did she go this way? Yeah, she went this way. Give me a sec, Lily. I want to be thorough with things, okay? I am a thorough person a little bit here and there. Ah, look. Hi, guys. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I'm just asking. All right. Okie dokie, let's go. Ooh. That sounds really close. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Probably out and about there. Just gotta keep Molly, quiet. You out here? Quit yelling! Oh my god! So I'm not going that way. Put a frickin' sock in it. Shush! There's a fence. Auto shop must be down this way. What the hell? Made me freaking jump. Anything in here? Nope. I was gonna say I'm stuck. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see. Take a look up. Climbing the fence isn't an option. Yeah. If you can break down the fence line, maybe, or... 
cut it with something. Okay. Can I look out here? No. Okay, well... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't remember this part. Maybe if I climb something? Can I climb anything? Is there really anything, nothing in here? Ah, look at there. Make sure it's, I, I would shake it or wiggle it and put a little bit of weight on it before I just walk on it, but that's just me. Good job. Anything down here I can poke at? Better not get too close. Yeah, shh. Let's just stay freaking quiet and call it good. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. All right, here we go. Damn, it's jammed tight. Um, anything useful? Anything useful? God dang it! Leave him! He's mine. Fine, he's yours. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? Calm the fuck down! What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Quit dropping the damn thing. You're Not gonna a problem. Attract him. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. You guys are dumb fucks. I thought you, like, he landed hard, so I thought for sure he... What the fuck? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Quit talking so damn loud! Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford already used this battery for something else. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd mm. rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. 
Anything in here before I go poke around outside? I'll look at that here in a sec. I'm pretty sure. Let's let's check it. Let's look. It's locked. No way in. That's good. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. All right. Let's talk to her real quick. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Hmm. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Sorry, just wanted to see something. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. No power. All right, here we go. They're gonna make a lot of noise, I have a feeling. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! Fuck! I'll try to hold them off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. I'm trying to pull it out. Shut up, car. We'll pull it out. Come on. Got that one off. It's off. Go, 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 go. I don't even know if got that'll it. fit in it. We still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move oh. your ass. Working on it, 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 working on it. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Now what? Great, now what? Skylight. It's shot. Shoot it out. I think they're gonna be climbing up on this thing anyways. They're not that smart. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Got it. Ooh. 
Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. All right. I mean, we got our stuff done. Other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. I don't know if that's gonna hold. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Oh, Good I luck. wasn't done talking with her, but okay. What about Crawford? Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. All right, let's talk to Clementine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Ah, uh, excuse you? Kenny, you, I'm starting to hate you more and more as time goes on. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go get this medicine door open. How is that not broken yet? Sounds like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. 
Not really when you can see behind them, but that's just me. But then again, like seriously, that wouldn't hold if they're banging on it. Shit. How the fuck did they get in? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. I was gonna say, dang it. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Hmm. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us, and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're mm. no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? Hey, Krista. Yeah? I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been 
throwing up. Oh, you're... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Okay. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Already cleaned out. The way this camera's set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it caught someone punching it in. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I think maybe we just got lucky. That'd be a first. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Empty. Figures. The tape's gotta be around here somewhere. Keep looking. <laughs> I'm clip I was clipping right through it. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. You want me to... Uh, okay. Okay, I, I can do that. I don't know about that. I'm gonna die. Is it at least clear? Looks like it is. I hate them, but they get me every time.
This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Question, how'd you get back over the fence and... Uh, okay. So if it was only four numbers, then it's probably the combination to this locker. What do you bet? Logan. This must have been his luck. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Okie dokie. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. So that's what happened. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. I want to see what the other tape is. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the I want to watch the next tape. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. We're good. Good. I want to make I want to check out the other tape. I want to see what the other tape is about. Oh, wow. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Hmm. Well, shit. All right, let's go. Now I know why Molly went a ham on the doctor. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. Jesus Christ! God, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, 
Yeah, uh, about that. What do you mean? I'm just kidding. Sure. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Um... Jeez, oh, Chip! Oh, God. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. Okay. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Um, uh, ben? ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! Me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Nice one, Clem. The heck? What the fuck is going on? Glitch sound. They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, oh, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! 
Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. I'm sorry, honey. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her screaming? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> All right, that is it for this episode. We will be continuing on in the next episode, and I don't feel bad letting go Ben. I really don't, to be honest. He put our group in danger, not once, but twice. He put my group in danger. He put Clementine in danger. He put the whole entire group in danger. He also killed... Um, Carly as well. He got Carly killed because he couldn't stand up. So yeah, that is one, two, three, four times that he screwed up. I can't, I can't keep him on the team. I'm sorry. I know it's going to hurt Clementine's feelings and all that, but who's to say that, you know, he doesn't get me killed or Clementine killed or anybody else killed. He's gotten more people killed because of his stupidity. And on top of that, he just went and got the axe, so there's another one. Five. Five things. So, alright guys, I'm your host, Keyblade Carry 2010 I hope you're enjoying the Walking Dead series as much as I am. We will be continuing, continuing on in the next episode, possibly the last episode of Season 4. Then we'll be moving on to Season 5, then the 400 days as well, or uh, 4,000 days. I don't remember. I'll have to look at it again. So, I'm your host, Keyblade Carrot 2010, signing out. Game on, gamers, cosplay on cosplayers, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and definitely hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any of the games that I upload to the channel, anything that I want to upload to the channel, and so you don't miss out on the live streams that I let when I actually go live as well. So, alright guys, see you later. Bye.